Okay, so we're gonna look at some pitch-based effects right here. And I wanna just play this track. I have one beat, three voices, and something else here, just actually just some MIDI chords. I'm gonna play through my three samples of voices. And what you're gonna hear is a vocoder, and then we're gonna dissect it. Okay, so obviously they're all being a part of some kind of hidden puppet show. Here it is. I have a vocoder on these tracks. Semiconductor, aerospace, and telecommunications. No more sickness, no more sorrow, no more pain. Okay, let's pull back the curtain on this little puppet show here. Make an audio track. Put in two or three examples of just plain old speech or singing, whatever, the human voice. Then go to your plugins folder under the vocoder, audio effects vocoder, drag in a format plus five. Okay, I also have a phaser and a large space chorus to, to kind of smooth this sound out, that's optional. This track here is just pitch. So it's a little operator or something like that. Yeah, it's an operator. It's pad super sweeper if you want to follow along. And basically, I just have a MIDI region here doing a very extremely simple chord progression. So let's hear this. Double click to unfold so you can see the chords. Okay, but during my example, of course, I had this off. So what's going on here? Um, this MIDI track is just just pitch that's it so put a synth on a midi track put in a little chord progression unassign it and pack it away that's done okay the tricky stuff is here and a powerful magnetic field okay now i have my vocoder plugin in bypass now i'm going to get to this little handy Ding along, ding ding, thing a ding here. This thing in the vocoder is the word carrier. We don't really care what carrier means except for how musical it is. So I have mine set to external. And in here, oh, what do I have? Audio, audio from. Now I called my track simple chords. Okay, so I'm going to go back here. There it is, simple chords. And what do I have? Let's just jump this up again. Audio from simple chords. Okay. And again, I have my traditional uh, before effects or after effects. Now, here's an interesting scenario because if I say after the mixer, it's not going to play at all. Why? Because I have the mixer off. Okay. So you wouldn't want that. So that I'm just trying to help you understand these three a bewildering choices post effects I didn't even have any effects on this simple chord anyway okay so back to my vocoder I now have it configured and now let's just play around with this thing Okay, that's just pitch, really. Okay, so anyway, it's the carrier is really this simple chord progression, isn't it? And the audio is coming in from there as well. If I take this carrier off, magnetic field vibrates these four precise frequencies and a powerful magnetic field. Now it's being carried. The carrier wave is be becoming these elements that are within the vocoder you can see it's just a little synth is all it is okay 
Okay, very awesome, isn't it? By the way, you can get in here and do this kind of malarkey. Make it really sound like a radio. And if you thought you could map some of this, well, you'd be right. So that's where you'll never leave your mom's basement 